What to be two capital G here. So people have told me that the ban list is out. I am not actually even sure. I was out with my brother, and uh, I was just reading through the comments on my cubic video. And people were like Cap G, the ban list is out. The ban. I don't think people are trolling me because I don't think that that many people would have gotten in on the troll. I think people would have said, you know, after that ban list shit, I'm not surprised or something like that. So let's just see. I'm not gonna say that the ban list is out. I'm gonna type in Yu-Gi-Oh ban list. I already have it saved, and uh, let's go to it. Let's see what this says okay hold on so it was updated today the ban list is definitely out um yeah okay <laughs> we have ourselves an official ban list guys i have not actually looked at this you guys are gonna get my first reactions and thoughts magic specter karen is now banned all right i think everybody's fine with that um i mean i i still consider karen to be the most powerful pendulum monster in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. i think it is a, i think it's just an annoying card um magic specters don't even really play their deck around it it's better in decks like metaphos and it, it was just kind of a, a a card that was better outside of its own archetype than inside like outside of um maybe cleefort why wouldn't you run karen in literally every pendulum deck ever i've even seen monarchs run it um let's see they fucking banned the tyrant neptune oh my god is this a copy pasta oh my goodness guys i think that this is going to be a copy and paste list from the ocg they banned the tyrant neptune lyrical lucenia independent nightingale isn't even out yet why would they do i mean i understand that they want to make it so like the combo isn't potent but fucking jesus you banned it before we could even play it if you guys don't know why the tyrant um the neptune why the tyrant neptune keeps getting banned why it just got banned last week in the ocg why it's banned now in the tcg apparently it's because of a play where you basically copy lyrical lucenia nightingale's effect and then the tyrant neptune basically can like burn your opponent for like five thousand damage he becomes an absurd amount like he becomes so fucking strong it's almost impossible to out the play unless you have like a tribute like a kaiju a lava golem or something like honest you will basically burn the death and it's unaffected by all card effects so it's not like when he activates the burn effect that you can solemn him or you can't stall against it it's basically gg no re it's just it's crazy that they would ban it before it even hit the tct i'm just kind of shocked i wonder if those are the only bans i see cast emperor dragon is still banned uh oh man construct is still banned wait where's elemental here oh my god Stratos still banned konami please free my nigga stratos i'm not even gonna look at charit and the rest of them charit strat yeah charit is still banned man konami make good banless please uh oh my god they banned vanities emptiness holy fuck they banned vanities no way they actually got that fucking cancerous card out of the game um wow i'm not gonna act like that's a bad thing i think vanities emptiness is a totally cancerous card the fact that i run it in dark magician should basically say everything that you need to know i mean it seems like you just kind of run it in everything because it's so good like i understand the fact that it can kind of be outed easily just like i guess i mean the cards that out it out pretty much every other floodgate but i don't really like the fact that you can kind of turn it off whenever you want metaphors can just they can blow it up and other decks like uh, burning abyss used to be able to just activate dante's effect and then kind of turn it off okay so that's it um so we had three bands the tyrant neptune which <laughs> It's like not even applicable because we didn't even have what breaks it. Magic Spectre, Kirin, and Vanity's Emptiness. Ah, uh, that means Zodiac will at least still survive this. <laughs> Zodiac's gonna be really good unless they just absolutely gutted it. Let's see. I'm trying to scroll. Uh, hold on. Something was semi-limited. Maxi is limited. Oh, are you fucking kidding? Oh my god, Konami, please. When I told Nadir and Jonathan Moore that Maxi might have to be banned, I was I was legitimately like I, I meant it, but though are you guys actually starting to listen to me, Konami? Look it why would you put it in limited? Who the fuck is gonna run one max C? This is like this is going to be the no hand trap format. Actually, a fan veiler is gonna be like God, unless they want us to play the new Ghost Ash and they want us to run all of those new hand traps that they're printing. What the fuck is the point of running one max C? Like, oh my God, uh, cat. I don't know what this format is gonna be. I'm not gonna lie. I think I understand why Konami limited Maxi, and it's simply, I think it's it's the bottomless trap hole formula. If you guys don't know, I bring this up all the time. It's, it's bottomless trap hole in Book of Moon. Whenever Konami sees a card that everyone in the meta is running three of, they semi-limit it. They did it, they did it with bottomless, and they did it with Book of Moon, and then when they see people run two of it in every deck in Yu-Gi-Oh!, they limit that shit. They did it with bottomless, they did it with Book of Moon. It's the, we don't want every single deck in the meta running one card. Like, it, it, I, guess, I guess you can call it the staple logic, but Konami has a history 
of doing this. So this is a. Uh, I, I just would have rather had Maxi banned than at one. Like I don't think whoever opens with the Maxi has like a big advantage because I just don't fucking think anyone's gonna play Maxi. But I actually like low key. I was kind of serious. I was like Maxi might have to. It's just too powerful. But wow, I didn't think they'd actually do. It. It's like one of those times where you say something and you hope it doesn't happen, but then it does, and it's like wow. Wait, something got on there. Rescue cat is on ban. Let's go. Rescue fucking cat is on ban. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Wait, wait. Why can't? Why is Chaos Emperor Dragon still banned then? What the fuck? This doesn't. Hold on. They unbanned Rescue Cat, but Chaos Emperor Dragon is still. They had to errata Rescue Cat. If they brought back Rescue Cat without errating it, they're fucking idiots. Like that would be so OP in so many decks. Uh, Rescue Cat. Okay. Let's see. Um. What's it called? Oh, Brionic, Dragon of the Ice Barrier, and Brain Control. Okay, so there. So this is pretty much confirmation, guys. We were right. Um, a lot of us have been talking about um, the new set that's about to come out, Duelist Saga. They're basically going to uh, rattle all of those cards. They're going to release them all in Duelist Saga. And it looks like that's what Konami is doing here. So I would expect Imperial Order to be on this list. I would expect Brain Control. Wait, that should mean uh, Future Fusion should be on here, too. Like, two cards down, we should see Future Fusion, right? F. There we go. Future Fusion. Okay, okay. So, yeah, Future Fusion is on there. Brain Control. I, I still think Rescue Cat is very powerful. I still think Future Fusion is powerful. Um, Brionic is... It's okay. I mean, if you can make sixes, go for it. Uh, Brain Control is garbage now. They they ruined... They, I'm not going to say... Well, they kind of ruined it. Yeah, like, no one... I don't think people are going to really play Brain Control. It's, it's okay, but it's not like... It's not like what it was in the fucking 5 these days. Like, that shit was just utterly dumb. It was arguably the best card in the game at one point. Let's see what else they did. Uh, okay, we got a big bulk. Is this uh, Imperial Order? Okay, that's Imperial Order. The reason why I can't identify it immediately is because my microphone is kind of in my... Whenever something is really low on the screen, like here, my microphone is kind of in my way, and I can't actually see it because I'm super short. So Imperial Order, that's a, it's a pretty good card. It's just weird. Why would you ban out a Floodgate in Vanity's Emptiness and then like simultaneously bring in a Floodgate back into the game? Like, that's just, that's really weird. I, I don't really understand that logic. Like, I understand why they errated Imperial Order, but just the timing doesn't make any sense. Like, we want Floodgates out of the game, you know, get by Vanity's Emptiness, but at the same time, let's bring another big Floodgate back into the game. Um, this card has been banned, guys, since I was, like, a teenager, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I'm showing my age here, but it's been a long time since Imperial Order was playable. Like, I've lived in North Carolina for 12 years. I don't think I've been able to play Imperial Order one time at an event. Like, it it's, it's been banned so long, I don't even... It's hard to even quantify the, the the impact of the card immediately. Let's see. So, something was limited. Oh, they brought back Wisdom Eye. Oh, my God. Hold on. Is this limited or semi-limited? Uh, oh, this is semi-limited. Okay, so Zodiac Rap here is semi-limited. Hey, that doesn't kill... That does not kill the deck. Also, Kaiju Interrupted Slumber... No, Konami. That card is broken. Dude, why didn't you just fucking limit it? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Zoo really, <laughs> if this is all they're doing to Zoo, Zoo's still going to, Zoo is basically unchanged. Like, it's still going to be a really, really strong deck. I'm pretty sure people will just play, like, Instant Fusion in the deck now because they're already playing, like, if you're already running the Lunar Light Black Sheep combo, like, Instant Fusion is, like, you know, or, no, no, she can't search Instant Fusion. She can only search Poly, but, you know, you can you can put your Norden back, draw some cards, and then still use Instant Fusion for the Norden. So, like, I don't think Zudiash really got hit at all. Um, Wisdom Eye Magician, okay, Pendulum Magicians are not that good. I don't think the new Zark cards are going to make them, like, super meta or anything like that. Uh, Interrupted Slumber should have went the one. I don't really see the point of... I don't see the point of semi-limiting it. I would just play, like, I would play two Interrupted Slumbers and just keep playing the Kaiju engine as, as as I would. Like, you know, maybe I take out the one Interrupted Slumber for, like, a Twin Twister. Um, Let me see what else they did. Oh, they brought back, what's it called? They brought back Sagan. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't actually have the Erratas, but we, well, no, we have already seen that they've been officially errated. Here's my question. Where where is our where's our chaos in for a dragon though, bro? Like where, where's my chaos in for a dragon? Um, this list this list seemed extreme. You know what this list seemed? It seemed extremely safe to me. Like, what do you guys think? What is the first impression of this list? For starters, uh, I can just say Nat's format is going to be so fucking broken. Like, if you guys think that the game was very dice roll oriented now, you don't even have any more max C's. You know you're not playing one fucking max C in a 60 card deck. Don't even try that shit with me, bro. You're not about to play one max C in a 60 card fucking deck. So max C is no longer even going to be like part of the meta. Like, whoever goes first, you just vomit all over the field. Maybe, again, maybe 
they will start playing effect dealer i think cherries might come into play like what do you this is oh i'm i'm frustrated with this maxi should have went to three if anything i think maxi is too powerful but it's like it's like gores dude it's it's a it's a necessary evil um i'm happy to see rescue cat come back same thing with um Brionic and uh Future Fusion, Brain Control can... I don't even fuck about that card, honestly. And then the Wisdom Eye doesn't matter. If Zodiac... Ran, dude, this is like... I'm not going to say this is a cash grab list, but they didn't hit Zoom pretty much at all. They just kind of stopped some of the first turn plays. They made it not as broken turn one, but I'm kind of surprised that they ignored the fraud. You know what I think they're going to do? I think they're going to release another ban list like right after right after Worlds that is just going to obliterate this meta so that they can have Link Summoning come in. So what do you guys think? I'm sorry I've been rambling too long. Sangan is very interesting. Uh, it's not even, like, is it at three? Because it says it was forbidden. So now Sangan just literally went from ban to three, which is kind of crazy. Anyways, whatever you guys think, leave it in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching as always.